Our next startup is called Iris Trace. Please run up here. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. My name is Andre Kingham. I'm a co-founder and CEO of Iris Trace. At Iris Trace, what do we do? We actually provide mobile controls for consolidation analysis and remediation and make it super easy for companies to do so. We actually start where ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning, stops, where processes get flexible and fast, where you have to change a lot, where you actually have your staff be informed quick, and you have to be able to do that as a manager, as a subject matter expert. It's in fact amazing the number of companies we still run across that outside of their ERP are still running basically on presentations and Excel spreadsheets, uh, some of their key strategic kind of operations. And so in order to just illustrate that, let me give you a couple of examples. So we work, for instance, with the NH Hotel Group, um, 400 hotels, three stars, four stars, five stars, around the world, <clears throat> and their management gave them the challenge of saying is we actually want to increase our client ratings, and so discovering actually the issues before they happen, before the clients notice. So the quality department obviously had said, well, how do we do this with the same number of resources? And so the idea was there to say is, okay, let's use smart technology to actually make everybody part of the process of actually increasing the quality of our operations. So basically what they do is uh, when they go around, they do the inspections themselves, um, and they start with the exterior, they go into the cellars, they go into the fridges, the catering, the rooms, kind of thing. And then they take a lot of photos, and they used to do all of this manually, right? So now they do it with their smartphone. And uh, what it does is when they actually finish the inspection, that's when the actual work really used to start. And that means that uh, basically people sit down and then start putting together the photos and PowerPoints, write reports, fill in Excel spreadsheets that they then send back to uh, their kind of like headquarters. And so, in fact, now we're taking about six hours out of that process and they're getting better quality than ever in terms of understanding what they need to remediate and how they actually do this. And uh, maybe another example here is um, uh, Carrefour. Carrefour with 147 hypermarkets, they do uh, cash register checks, they do checks like of their promotions, etc all of that basically through the smartphone. And in fact, it's really liberating. It's in fact, rather than who, in fact, in the audience, anybody like writing reports? Hands up if you do. It's the time to kind of like make it known to everybody. Nobody? Right, well, that's exactly it. So as soon as it's done, you basically have a data to share and it's no longer resting somewhere in, in your archives or in your email folders. So what do we do now is in fact, we are basically expanding it uh, we're expanding its challenge of growth. We've got a great pipeline of two and a half million, over 70 projects. Today, we're just happy to announce that we signed with the largest manufacturer of bathroom equipment, 57 factories in the world, with Roca Sanitarios. So we're very happy to announce that. And we are headquartered in Amsterdam. Thank you very much. That's the time. Headquarters in Amsterdam. That's okay, that's okay. Thanks. So, uh, we'll stay here on stage. Stay, don't, don't walk away too far. Sure. So, uh, we have some questions from the jury. Or oh, do we? Do we not? Yes, we do. Thanks a lot for the, for the pitch, actually. Um, so, you just mentioned that you already have a first uh, client and the first market to enter. I know that the enterprise market is quite difficult to enter because they're quite stubborn with the older systems that they have, and they often already have a lot of partners that are creating their software. Um, how do you see to enter this market, and how do you believe to, to be able to make a difference there? Well, when we have a chance to kind of like get into the operations of the quality folks, they really see that the simplicity and the user adoption, the ease of use, is actually what makes a difference. It's no point having a great strategy if people are not using it out there. And so making that super simple is actually a very convincing argument. And the other part is managing the process. I've been in operations myself for over 11 years, and the chat, you, you spend your time chasing. And if you have the process that's really managed well for you, and it's lightweight, you can just sign up and do it, rather than actually, and then deploy it to the mobiles of all these guys, it's actually really a lifesaver. Um, in which industries are most of your customers? Is that uh, non-tech, tech, offline? Because I would say this is just optimizing a uh, workflow process, which is Absolutely. maybe for the old industry a very helpful tool. But for a new industry, tech-driven industry, probably they develop these type of tools themselves. 
So the type of applications you'll find are indeed um, like hotel, retail, um, service industries. A lot of the service providers have the challenge of proving their service levels. And that's always a point of tension between the brand owner and the actual people doing the work. And uh, there are a lot of examples, but where we can just say we save so much time and take uncertainty out of the negotiation. And uh, a lot of bonuses depend on the performance. And in fact, this way, you actually do it on the fly as you do the job. And, it, and it's a painless kind of exercise. And that's actually quite compelling for a lot of industries. We're not finding that industry specifically, people have more interest than other industries. It, it, it cuts across a lot of them, actually. But we have started in hotel and retail. So. Thank you very much. Yep. So, up next. Ooh, go. 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 Go.